Hi there. Thank you for watching this video. The first question is, why do we want to create an account on AWS? AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. And AWS is the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform, offering over 200 fully featured services globally. To explore AWS services, you must have an account set up on AWS. So in this video, we're going to walk through step by step to show how to create a free account on AWS, how to choose billing preferences, how to set up a billing alarm, and how to set up zero spend budget. OK, let's get started. OK, on Google page, let's search AWS sign up. Okay, click sign up for a free AWS account. Now in AWS, we can see the three types of offers. Free trials, 12 months free, always free. If you want to see the detail about them, you need to go down here. Here is the detail about them. So if you want to see a specific type, for example, always free, so just Check always free. And here it, it details about always free tab. We don't care the details here now. Let's go back to the top. Click create a free account button. Now enter my email address here. Enter the account name. Click verify email address. Okay, so AWS sent an email to me, so I need to go to my email address to find that email. Okay, let's copy the code and I paste it here. Verify. It's you. Your email address has been successfully verified. Now it's time to end the password. The password must include uppercase, lowercase, number, and special characters. Okay. Re-enter the same password to confirm. And click Continue. Okay. Here, enter the contact information. You can use as a business or personal, so I just choose personal. And full name, enter here. And the rest, let's say, select country first. Canada. Then set address, city, state, postal code. Continue. Here's my credit card information. Continue. Now, I need to enter my mobile phone number. So the mobile phone number can receive the message from AWS. Let's enter my phone number. Okay, then security check here. Send SMS. Okay, now phone, my phone got the code. So let me enter the code here. Okay, continue. Okay, now we have three options. Basic support, you can see on the left side. So basic support, developer support, and the business support. Go back to basic support, I'm gonna use, and I click complete sign up. Congratulations. Now we have the AWS account created successfully. So the next step, we want to choose the billing preferences. So I need to log in to AWS. Okay, so enter my email address. Next, security check. Submit. 
password which I used to create the account a moment ago. Sign up, sign in. Okay, so we need to use the billing service. So let's search the billing service in the search box on the top. It's entering billing. Okay, click billing service. On the left side, let's choose billing preferences. Click. And then we have three checkbox here. Receive PDF invoice by email, check. Receive free tier usage alerts, check. Receive billing alerts, check. So check all three of them. And click save preferences. So preference is saved. Good. So this step is done. Let's go to the next step. Set up a billing alarm. This requires the Cloud Watch service. So let's search Cloud Watch. Okay, click Cloud Watch. Good. So now just keep in mind the billing data management are all processed at Virginia region. So we need to make sure Virginia is selected as region here. And then click all alarms. Click create alarm. Click select metric. Click billing. Okay. Then click total estimated charge. Click this one. Check US dollar. Click select metric. Okay. So let's use the default settings. We don't change anything here, but threshold tab static okay whenever estimate whenever estimate charge is greater than the number us dollars so let me put which number five dollars okay so which means wherever the estimate charge is greater than five dollars i will receive the alarm email okay five dollars entered and then Next, here, keep in alarm. Yeah, just use the default one. And here we need to use create a new topic. So click, click create new topic. Yeah. And for the topic name, we can use the default CloudWatch alarms topic. Just use this one. Okay, go down the email. So you tell AWS which email you want to use to receive to receive the notifications, right? The alarm email. So I just put my email here. You can put multiple and use the comma to separate them. So all of the email just will receive the notification email. Okay. So click create topic. So now here, let's change. Next. Okay, for the name, so we need to put the name for the alarm, billing alarm. So let's put my billing alarm. Okay, just the name. Next. Graphic metric conditions. Yeah, this is just a review details. Nothing change. Create alarm. Click. Now, 
my bidding alarm is created successfully. You can see here, but this warning, you can see on the right side, this warning, which requests the confirmation. So they already sent an email to my email address. I need to go to my email address to find that email. Open it. Click. Confirm subscription. Click. Okay. Subscription confirmed. Great. Okay. Close it. Go back to AWS. Refresh. Now the warning is gone. Action enabled. So last step, set up zero spend budget. Let's search budget. So we need to use AWS budget service. Click AWS budgets. Then click create a budget button. Just click, click that button, create a budget. Okay, so use a template. Yeah, this is the default one. Just use this one. Down here, zero spend budget. Just use this one. Go down. The budget name, my zero spend budget. Just use it. No need to change. Email again, the same as before, right? You can use different email addresses. You can use multiple email addresses. Just separate them by comma. So to simplify, I just use my email address here. Yeah. Nothing special. Okay. Go down, create a budget. Done. So now my zero spend budget is created successfully. Okay. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.